So as I'm looking at this, I think there are already some quadratic polynomials, and I want to factor those. I want to put those in factored form before I start. So on the left-hand side, I see, <laughs> I'm sorry, I realize I'm standing in front of the projector. I'll try to sit down. Um, on the left side, I have 1 over, and then how would I write that in factored form? Yep. So you can try that out. x minus 1 times x minus 2 would give me this uh, quadratic because negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2, and negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. And then over here, this is one of those difference of squares that I was mentioning earlier, right? This is x squared minus 2 squared, so that has to factor as x plus 2 and x minus 2. Yep, x plus 2 times x minus 2. Oops. So what, once we're at this point, um, anytime you're trying to solve an equation, like there's an equal sign in the problem, and you see stuff happening in the denominator, it's always a good idea to just try to multiply through everything by all the factors in the denominator. It's way easier to solve equations once you just get rid of all the stuff happening in the bottom of the fractions. You just get rid of the fractions altogether. And what I mean by that is I'm going to multiply everything, every single term, times x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x plus 2. That means that term and this term. I'm sorry, my handwriting is going to get really small, but it's the same thing every time. Every single term I'm multiplying times x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x plus 2. And again, to keep the equation balanced, I have to multiply every term by all three of those factors. And after doing this, this x minus 1 in the numerator is going to cancel with this x minus 1 in the denominator. This x minus 2 in the numerator will cancel with this x minus 2 in the denominator. And so my left hand side is now just 1 times x plus 2. The first term on the right hand side has an x plus 2 in the numerator that will cancel with the x plus 2 in the denominator. And so the first term on the right hand side now becomes x minus 1 times x minus 2. And then for the second term on the right hand side, x minus 2 in the numerator cancels with x minus 2 in the denominator. x plus 2 in the numerator cancels with x plus 2 in the denominator. And so that second term becomes 5 times x minus 1. So to recap what we've done so far, from the original, we noticed that there were some quadratic polynomials in the original equation. So I said let's write those in factored form and factoring these we got what I had written in like my maroon colored pen and then I said I don't like having factors in the denominator because that makes my equation difficult to solve. If we want to get rid of all the factors in the denominator we just have to multiply through every term in the equation by every factor we see in the denominator. And so we saw x minus 1, x minus 2, and x plus 2. And those are just repeats of x plus 2 and x minus 2. So we multiplied every single term by those three factors. And having done that, we saw that a lot of them canceled. And when they canceled out, we were left with this 
blue equation. And with this blue equation, I now want to expand everything. Like this bit in factored form, I want to expand this to x squared minus 3x plus 2. And then distributing this 5 gives me plus 5x. And then 5 times negative 1 is minus 5. And if you didn't see how I expanded that factored form, remember that to expand a quadratic formula that, sorry, <laughs> to expand a quadratic polynomial that you find in factored form like this one, you just draw a little box and you uh, multiply through everything in the boxes and then you add up the boxes. So like, for example, that negative 3x here came from this negative 2x plus negative 1x. And now we have written this in the expanded form. I want to make one side of my equation equal to 0, and I also want to collect like terms. So the only x squared term I see is this x squared. In terms of x's, I have minus 3x plus 5x, which would give me 2x. And then plus 2x minus 5x is minus 3. If I want to make the left-hand side 0, then my right-hand side, I have to subtract x, so like that. And then subtract negative 2. If you tried to factor, that's not going to work because the only factor pair of 5 is 1 times 5. And there's no way to add or subtract 1 and 5 to give you 1. So factoring doesn't work, but the quadratic formula is always going to work. So we have to keep this quadratic formula memorized and ready to go. For me, b is 1. Uh, a is just 1, and c is a negative 5. So this is 4 times negative 5. One plus twenty is twenty one, and these are your two solutions to the equation. <laughs>